I think that there is something very, very wrong with our society. Things have changed drastically. How we communicate. Um, as, as now people go, you didn't see my Twitter? You didn't see it? Like, yeah, I just sit on Twitter waiting for you to update your status. That's all I do in my life, you know? Um, like the airport, like since 9-11, Things have changed. Like if you look at the last 20 years, our cars have changed. Every, everything mm -hmm. has changed drastically. But the thing that's changed the most that I feel is like an issue. Like if I could sit one on one with Barack Obama, I would say, "Hey, can we talk about this?" Mm -hmm. And I think it's our spanking theology. Mm -hmm. The process of somebody getting their butt whooped. <laughs> okay. I mean, kids these days, it's. It's a, it's a different ball game. Mm -hmm. Now, I was born in 1986, so if you do the calculations, most of the butt whoopings I got were early 90s butt whoopings. <laughs> you got early 90s butt whoopings. Okay, butt whoopings have changed all together. I don't know if you noticed this. Kids are getting away with absolute murk. Okay, uh, like, Pastor you think? He's got this thing in his house that I, I love, and I'm gonna adopt this. And I'm, my wife's pregnant. We're having a child in December. We're having a Woo! what up? Yeah. <laughs> so Pastor Brandon does this thing called catch the couch. Have y'all heard this? Has he, has, has he hit? Listen, this is what he does. Like if his kid is in trouble, he's like, "Listen, I told you not to throw that toy. Whatever." And he's like, "I didn't throw that toy. Whatever." He goes, "You know what?" I'm gonna need you to catch the couch. That means they have to like put their hands <laughs> on the couch <laughs> and accept the crucifixion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they can be talking and like, no, daddy, I didn't mean to go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch that couch. Okay, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to catch that couch. <laughs> but like in my day, like parents now spank their kids with belts. Um, my parents like whoop me with whatever they saw in their periphery. Yeah. <laughs> A branch could be a, you know a sword. It, like it didn't matter. You just had a sword where you said something smart to my mom or dad because it could it could be having a hell for you right there, right then. I mean, like the child services organizations did not have their stuff together in the early nineties. Like, and we had the roller phone, so it would take me a solid forty five seconds just to dial nine one one. Finger in the nine, spin that sucker. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, you can already get hit a second time. Yeah. Like, even made the call. So I mean, even if these organizations were around, it wouldn't have done anything for me. Yeah. Uh, I've also found that, like, I love white people. Okay. I love Caucasians. Because you want to know why? Because when they discipline their kids, they're civil. You know what I'm saying? They're civil. Okay? Like. They gonna they gonna do the CSI. They they gonna get to the bottom of the case and divvy out discipline accordingly. Okay? So Johnny and Jamie got the scrapping right. All right, they gonna sit them down. Johnny, Jamie, who threw the shoe? Who threw? I want to know who threw. No, and they're gonna they're gonna bring out the cupcake crumbs. They're gonna break down everything of who committed the crime, and then they're gonna say, all right, Johnny, it was you. Jamie, I want you to go to your room. Because they don't want to spank one child in front of the other. They're, be, they're civil, okay? <laughs> so Jamie's going to go to her room and peek and watch the whole time. He gets a little pat-pat. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so my Caucasian friends, they, they, they will ask questions and then do the spanking. The rest of us <laughs> kind of have this whole idea where we... Hit first, ask questions later. <laughs> I mean, you can really even get an opportunity to state a case. There's no negotiations about the discipline. Like, like, like one time, my mom, my mom has like these crazy laws. Okay, I'm talking laws like they're not even written. Like, they're just they're just things that like my mom just likes like to run her household with, and it's just. All this just crazy stuff. Like one of the laws was do not move the lamp in the guest room. It's like, yeah. don't move the lamp in the guest room anyway. You might want to move your stank lamp anyway. <laughs> well, my brother always moving the lamp. <laughs> what are we doing? So all of a sudden my mom was like, Ryan, Corey, Aaron, get down here right now. I'm like, 
I don't even know why we're going down there. Now, if a black mom yells, you instantly begin to think of all the sins you've committed yeah. within the last year, right? <laughs> I ain't did nothing in like a year. Like, so I'm thinking, well, I, I know I didn't do anything. So we lined up like soldiers. All three of us. I'm like, I don't even know why we're here, but I'm sure one of them did something, whatever. <laughs> My mom starts pacing in front of us, right? She said, no, I'm only going to ask this once. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if somebody hits you with that, you in trouble. Yeah. She said, who moved my lamb? And these two knuckleheads, okay? I will use another N-word, but we in church. <laughs> <laughs> these two knuckleheads flipped <laughs> over and said, him. And my mom knocked me out. <laughs> I'm like, the lion! But you have to understand something. In the ethnic community, that's how you find out who really did it. Right. So ethnic people, when they do their discipline, it's more of a mob action situation. <laughs> you get everybody. Like if you have you ever had a group butt whooping? Yeah. Like you all yeah. get like, I'm like, I didn't even do anything. But like, you're just a part of the group. Like you just mobbed in. Okay? It's really not fair. It's really not. I mean, I was at the grocery store the other day and 